Today's Gibbs Cam video, we're going to show you how to rough out your part using odd shape stock. So you can see on my screen here, I have my part that I want to rough out, but my stock is not rectangular or square anymore. It's an odd shape part, maybe from a casting or from a previous machining operation. You can make your stock any size you'd like it, any shape you'd like it. I also have one as round. So we're going to do the odd shape stock first. So what I want to do first is I'm just going to double click it. I'm going to modify toggle wall air. You can see it's turned red. That means our tool can go outside this wall. And while we're at it, I'm going to do the same thing with the round. Okay. I'm going to take my odd shape stock, copy it, and paste it into my part. So here I have my part and my odd shape stock. So normally Gibbs uses the values that are here on your setup page as your stock, but we want to use odd shape stock so we're not cutting a lot of air outside these areas. So I'm going to go to my part that I have labeled odd shape. I'm going to right click, go to WG Info, Instead of geometry, we're going to make this the part stock, extrude z-axis. So now when you go to cut part render, you'll see that is my odd shape stock. Now just to create a toolpath, I'm going to go to my part. I already have a volume mill toolpath here. Just bring that open. We're just going to go an inch deep. Standard volume mill here. One thing that's new in volume mill in the 2016 version is this technology experts because many people say I don't know how to use volume meal, I don't know how to set my tools for high speed machining and here's everything you need to know here based on your material whether you want to be aggressive or not aggressive your tool size this will help you out immensely in creating a high speed tool path with the new high speed cutters so filled all that out I'm going to click on my part I'm going to click on my stock and do it. And you can see now I have my high speed volume mill toolpath. Let's do a cut part render on this. Slow it down a bit. And you can see an extremely efficient toolpath for high speed machining. And of course you can do the same thing using a, the standard roughing process as well. And you can work with solids and do the same thing as well. Okay, we're going to delete my volume mill process. We're going to delete this shape. We're going to take my round shape. Well first we'll turn off the odd shape as stock. So you can see this little label tells you it's stock. So we'll just right click again, go to WG Info, turn it back to part geometry. Then we'll go to my round stock. Again, WG Info, change this to part stock Z axis. So now when we go to cut part render, you can see that's our starting off as round stock. Okay, I'll copy this, select it, copy it. You can use the standard uh, Control C and Control V if you'd like. We'll just copy that, go back to our part, do Control V, paste it in there. So now I have my part as well as this time I have my round stock. Okay, Same toolpath, I'm just going to click on my part, click on my round stock, click on do it, and you can see again you have a nice efficient high speed volume mill toolpath on here. Let's do a cut part render, see what we have. And again no air cutting, nice efficient high speed toolpath using volume mill and Gibbs cam. Any questions, shoot me an email or a reply. Thanks for watching this video.